So, what do I recommend somebody that's 19 to 19 to 30, I would say, that's single, um, male or female to be fair, uh, goes out to the Philippines? For me, I found the Philippines quite a safe country. I know a lot of people go, oh, there's high mortality rates and things like that, but um, I found it like 3, 4 in the morning, just wandering around, no issues with anybody. Um, I generally found it safe and most people you talk to will probably say exactly the same. Um, but nearly everybody also speaks English, um, it's relatively cheap. Um, but the other side of that is you can adjust your budget, you know, because you can get get really cheap properties down here um, from about 1,500 pesos a month, you know, into bed space of territory, which is basically like a bunk bed, you're sharing a room with other people, etc. So your own villa, apartment, whatever. Um, so there's there's multiple angles there from the sense of you can keep the money tight get yourself set up and as things develop you can move into bigger places and a lot of guys do do that um, I say guys because predominantly they're male um, but the other side of this is I find it quite easy um, to integrate with people there I find people are quite friendly I find people are um, keen to interact with you um, commuting is quite easy, transportation system, although it's basic, there's a lot of it. Um, so it's very easy to get around, it's cheap to get around. Um, there's a lot of places to visit, different islands, different islands have their own niches and things. Um, which if you went somewhere else may be um, a lot more expensive to get a similar sort of experience. And the other side is it's quite rough around the edges. so it's open sewers, a lot of poverty mixed with wealth. Um, but I think that actually helps with perspective. Because it might be funny, once you've been out into some of these places and you see the world from a different viewpoint that somebody complaining they couldn't afford an Xbox for their children this year um, is put into context. I mean, one for me was... Um, People asking for donations to paint a child's coffin. That is so many worlds apart. But it means that you will find, you because your perspective and mind opens up to this sort of stuff, things that used to annoy you probably doesn't anymore. <laughs> because for a start, there's a lot of stuff in the Philippines that um, are what are slight irritants, but they're constantly there. Motorcycles without mufflers, the uh, the fumes, the noisy neighbours, the um, fiestas with the volume full blast with video key at two in the morning, all that sort of stuff. But you do find once you get used to it, it doesn't bother you, and you can become quite immune to that sort of stuff. Which means if you do head back to the west, you're a lot more easy going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then there's concepts when you start looking at money you know if you're on quite a tight budget there and evolve over time you'll find your money management's a lot better um, I was talking to Jay about this recently because um, one of the things he does is he'll buy uh, bulk of pork and um, what's it? pork and chicken keeps it in the freezer takes it out because then he eats out last that sort of stuff myself I love eating out um, I mean uh, I think when I was just come back from Spain, I think we're in a different restaurant every day. Um, but that's that's the thing. I work hard when I'm away, so when I go home, I enjoy it. But the point is, you will experience a lot there. You you will find it's very easy to make friends. You will find um, you're more self reliant. Also, although it's difficult to get opportunities there because work-wise the wages aren't great for most people best best money to be made is online um, but at the same time there's a lot on the doorstep you know 
maybe you don't have a car or something here but in the Philippines you may have a motorbike you may uh, go island hopping on a Friday you know on the boats on the old bankers you get involved in multiple groups a lot easier it's less silo because I find it's very easy to be siloed um, especially in places like the UK it's very easy to be siloed into um, not having the same social interactions because in the Philippines there's always a fiesta you know could be somebody you're working with it's their sister or brother or uncle whatever invites you over for a fiesta and then when you have a fiesta in your barangay everybody you invited will invite you to their barangay so you end up with a ridiculous amount of fiestas and parties throughout the year and you meet more and more people um, it's just a good experience downside the risk is financial mainly well financially and health uh, you get ill out there you're on your own if you run out of money out there you're on your own um, so you've got to think about those things seriously uh, my personal view is bank bank a year's worth of money um, and I know a lot of people say, oh, Phil Health and medical. Well, Phil Health is fairly basic. Um, and private health care is expensive. I mean, the health care I have for Spain, to be fair, covers me for three months in the Philippines a year anyway, because I do pay, it's, uh, it's probably about $150 a month or something. Um, but the point being is, you just as long as you understand that the risks there you're more likely to look after yourself and then you've got all oh, there's a lot of fresh fruit on your doorstep there's a lot of fresh produce you know you've got bananas growing in your garden mangoes um yeah i love it and that's why you know and i haven't had anybody complain about it i mean don't get me wrong there's been people that have problems with relationships and i I don't know them well enough to actually comment on a lot of their situations. But the actual Philippine side, I don't think they had too many issues with. Unless they had run it, runs in with the police and whatever, which is, yet again, wasn't there when it happened, so can't really comment. But my personal view, no issues with the police. Um, If anything, it's probably neighbours are more problematic than anything else. Uh, getting around's easy. Don't think you get bored as much either as well, because there's a lot of cheap stuff around. You know, you can nip to another island quite cheap. Um, so I suppose as well, you get some YouTubers which are living a hand to mouth almost, or are. Um, but they refuse to go back, you know, they won't go back to America or whatever, because their life is there, they have a life, you know, cause a lot of the time when they go back to where they originally came from, there's not a lot going on, you know, the money doesn't stretch very far, can't do a lot with it, don't have the same level of interactions because they've got no money, they've got no, you know, social aspects are quite restrictive, but in the Philippines, it's chilled out. You're automatically wealthy anyway, simply because you're a foreigner, which is a bit weird. And even when you sit there and explain about the differences in currency values, a lot of people still go, yeah, but you, yours is worth more. But my cost of living is more. Um, which those conversations I normally have with um, the OFWs, the, the overseas Filipino workers because they have the same problem <laughs> trying to explain they're earning more but they have more cost of living because they're in Dubai or wherever and they're going yeah but you have more money it's like no I'm not that much better off <laughs> uh, but yeah highly recommend it and even if you just go out for six months I think it'll change your perspective on life I think it's beneficial to that point um, it can give you a whole new lease on life because you can find life quite mundane a lot of the time and when you're younger I think a lot of people trying to find direction or something to drive them forward 
where I find in the Philippines the day to day is quite busy, but you're also like, um, like if you're generating cash, you you're switching on onto the next thing. How do you make more money? What what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? Where do you want to go? What do you want to experience? It sort of triggers a lot of stuff you may not may not be doing. Um, I remember there was a guy I bumped to in Norfolk. And he was saying about the same because he he come from South Africa originally. Uh, sorry, that's unfair. He come from um, Zimbabwe, but when it was British Rhodesia, he was there during the transition. Um, and then he went down to South Africa, South Africa to the Philippines. And like he said, the thing is, in the Philippines, you're switched on to making money. When he went to the UK because of the benefit system, and so they make it hard for you to actually um, get yourself off the benefit system um, because the you know you're trying to generate a small business to get it going to get self-sufficient. It's like people are spying on you to say you're a benefit to you when in fact he's trying to get out of the benefits, but because he's more of an entrepreneur rather than somebody who works at their factory or whatever, um, it's sort of. Oh, he must be trying to cheat the system. So to the point, it's just not worth doing. In the Philippines, there is no benefit system, so uh, you're relying on yourself. So those sort of things, like I said, he had the same thing. You, it switches you on to being motivated into generating your next big cash flow um, or becoming sustainable. Because to be fair, in the Philippines, it'd be sustainable. A lot of people are quite happy at that. I know I was. Um, I didn't need to generate much more than I was generating. I um, already had enough. Well, even now, I could go back to the Philippines tomorrow and I've got enough to live there till the day I die. Um, but I like Spain. <laughs> Spoiled for choice. Um, but yeah, love the Philippines. I know Jay's the same. Jay's just waiting to get back there. Look forward to seeing his updates. Um, but all I can recommend is it offers experience, it offers open your mind to new things. Thanks for watching.